After receiving the printer in the mail and a frenzied couple of hours, this is the build so far from last night. Um, I've already noticed a couple of inconsistencies with the build instructions and the measurements of certain uh, materials. The, I had to modify the uh, pins here because they're running into the back of the base back of the header. Also I'd like to perhaps later cut down this spacer a little so that I can get this uh, more flush on this side. It's, it's almost perfect on this edge and uh, the spacers are just uh, a little too big for this because of the way that it's been soldered in. So we'll see it working first and then I'll make adjustments later I think. And um, a couple of other things, these rods are different length to the video. Um, also in here, you probably can't see, but there should be a spring washer in between the nut and the normal washer on both sides of this fixing. But uh, the packing list didn't have any spring washers in it, so I'll be going to Bunnings to get some of those soon. Other than that, it's actually starting to look like a printer. Uh, all the base stuff is there, I'm really happy. It's uh, part of the video that I'm up to now. Yeah. So how cool is that? 3D printer. really have anywhere to put this uh, filament yet. Hopefully dangling off in space will be okay. Printing. This is fantastic. The first print. Now the first print that I'm doing is actually this yellow thing that directs the air from the blower. It's, uh, when I was trying to put the filament in, I put too much pressure there and I snapped it already. So uh, my first print is hopefully to replace Alright, so this is what I'm building. This piece that I've broken off. Hopefully that'll be what it looks like at the end. You can see the layers. Why it looks a little bit different while it's printing. You can see that uh, the blue bits there is the infill. And that's pretty much what it looks like right about now. got concerned when it started making some strange noises right about now. So uh, it was just struggling to put that extra layer on there. It seems to work alright, doesn't it? For this. Ooh. Very spacey. So now it's uh, nearly 17 millimeters tall. How's that? 47 of the way through the print. Hope I've got enough of this filament. We'll find out soon. I'm pretty packed in fill. I think I only had it at 20%, but um, 
Ooh, it's pretty busy over there. It's at 55%. So uh, there's my 20% fill. It's before it was uh, still building the outer wall by the look of it. It's like a, a shell layer which is thicker than the rest. It makes a lot more sense now that I see it. Seventy percent. Amazing. You can already see the difference between the actual product and the bits that I'm just going to snap away. Uh, those bits are just put there for support so that my finished product is straight and not bent from gravity. Looks to be pretty good from here. So there might just be enough filament. Filament. We're running short on the filament. Oh my god. You're already going to have to go buy more. 98%? Yeah, it was just like two metres of tech. So it's going to take one hour and three minutes. It's been an hour and seven. About an hour? Holy shit. Well, it's doing the layers at 0.1 millimetre at a time. <laughs> so it's still pretty impressive. So yeah, when it's doing something bigger, it will take forever. It's done. Wow, that's cool. Okay. I'm just gonna turn this off. And I suppose you don't touch it for a couple of minutes. That nozzle, mm -hmm. that nozzle is 220 degrees. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't touch it. <laughs> oh, so yeah, the plastic's gonna be hot. The bed's pretty cool, it's only, it was only at 50 degrees, but at the final thing on the camera. So the edges with the support obviously need a little bit of uh, filing work to get them good. However, the outside edges, as you can see, are really, really smooth and nice, beautiful. Um, side is a little bit lumpy so that's okay but all the all the big faces are good this side's good too so all in all pretty pretty happy really i'll uh, get back to you then there's the original one that i have you can see that i, I broke it here it was uh, a bit unfortunate There it is. New part. Alright, so I just noticed something fascinating about this print here, and I'm really surprised about how it's looking. And, uh, this this uh, little edge there has absolutely no support. And it's an absolute mystery to me. That got printed at all.